Ladies and gentle frogs, welcome to the Days of Summer event. Hello, ladies and gentle frogs. My name is Epic, you can call me Dan. Today, I'm bringing you the Days of Summer. Musty, I'm, I'm trying to do an intro. Ladies and gentle frogs, it is time for Days of Summer. Hello, ladies and gentle frogs. My name is Epic, you can call me Dan. Today, I am at a new setup. What do you think? What do you think? I'm going to do a full room tour soon, but yeah, sorry about the cringy intro. I'm definitely not a YouTuber, but today we have the Days of Summer live event. Now, they have put the ballistic knife in reserves. Okay, but I have been saving up the reserves since because I knew, I knew that there was going to be this kind of BS. So we're going to open 20 cases, five crates and one weapon bribe to see what we can get so let's just get straight into it and I'm sorry I haven't done videos like this recently but I've just been so busy with work and my laptop isn't the best for doing webcam and face cam so I know after this I'm going to be playing a lot of gameplay and unfortunately it's the, this is going to be rendering in the background and I'm not going to be able to record any of it so I'm going to have to re-record stuff from theatre because it takes forever on my laptop but I thought I'd bring you a little supply drop opening okay what have we got a tactical uh, I don't use a spitfire though that's the thing okay I haven't really been looking at these surprise party death effect blasts oh okay Sarah Hall everybody anyone anyone know no anyone okay cool so uh, yeah, so I've moved into this flat. If you um, know me personally, you know I moved in about two months ago. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to be doing a room tour, sort of like a little flat tour. And fingers crossed, I am trying to get like a new setup and like try and save up and get some more stuff so I can do more videos on the regular. Because I notice that not a lot of people are doing videos at the moment on like knifing it. What is the ballistic knife? You see the long barrel and you're just like, ooh, ballistic knife, but no, it's not it's not there, is it? Right, okay. So you can't really do cardboard camera. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just gonna do a no look. Okay. Should have flashed up somewhere about now. Didn't sound that great. So it's nah, it's contrast. Contrast to my theory that oh no, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do bad jokes. We're not gonna do this. We're not gonna have one of those things. Death effects. Oh. Like, just put some decent stuff in. I don't know if this is all the stuff from the old thing, because I got these in the old tiers. Right, five crates. Five crates, count them. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five crates. No, no, and... I got these all during, like, the Operation Spectre event, so... You know, I'm just... <sighs> Megalodon. Idea, yeah, you know, it's... These are some cool stuff. Jane Doe. And we got the Chrysalis for the Koshka. That's kind of cool. Okay. We got Doomseer. Yeah, none of these are Days of Summer. I'm guessing they don't roll over into Days of Summer. That's a shame. Oh, another, another really nice... But the main one we're going for is this. So I'm going to be doing another Days of Summer event soon, which you'll see shortly after this video. I might have one, but... I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. Three, two, one. It's the SX Stingray. I knew it. You pay for the. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to complain too much. Hello, ladies and gentle frogs. My name is Epic. You can call me Dan. Today, I bring you my first weapon guide on the new S6 Stingray. Now, this is a tactical rifle that has just been added into the game through the microtransaction system. And I'm going to be talking you through some basic stats. Since I paid for this gun, I might as well do an in depth weapon guide. And this will show you the best class, all the stats you need to know, and how to use this gun effectively. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. The Essex Stingray is the fourth tactical rifle to be added into the game, alongside the Auger, Swordfish and ABR, and is also available only through the microtransaction system. This tactical rifle is very unique in the fact that it uses fleshet projectiles instead of normal bullets. A fleshet is a pointed steel projectile with a van tail for stable fight. The name comes from the French fleshet, meaning little arrow or dart and sometimes retains the acute accent in English. These rounds have been used as ballistic weapons since World War I. Delivery systems and methods of launching fleshets vary from a single shot to thousands in a single explosive round. The use of fleshets as anti-personal weapons has been controversial and is considered by some to be a human rights violation. 
The Essex Stingray is a two round burst tactical rifle, firing two flesh at rounds each time, one after the other. In game, damage is high, with each flesh at round doing 62 damage to the body from short range, 68 to the head from short range, 86 with the operator mod attached to the body, and 94 with the operator mod attached with a headshot. From medium range, this decreases by 8 in the body and 9 in the headshot, same for the operator mods, and it keeps going down by 8 until the minimum damage you can do to the body is 38, requiring at least 4 shots. Just to give an example of how the range system works with this gun, here is as close as you can get to the enemy. Here is the closest point you can get where the gun works at medium range. This is the closest you can get where the gun works at long range. And this is the closest you can get and any further away than this works as a very long range distance. On its own, the SX Stingray is quite depressing. Given that you're using flesh ship rounds as opposed to the normal bullets, accuracy at some times can be difficult. Given its two round system, you have to be really accurate and ensure each flesh it hits its target. This is why attachments are a must for this weapon. One thing to bear in mind when using this gun is that the flesh it round shoots slower than normal bullets, therefore you'll have to alter your aim on moving targets aiming ahead of them as opposed to aiming right at them. Do note that when any enemy is on the run, you will have to aim just in front of them to where they're going to be, so that the flesh it can catch up with them and kill them. Flashets also stick into walls, this means that there is no chance in getting an enemy hiding behind cover. Keep this in mind because you will have to run and press the enemy if they decide to take cover. Aim speed comes in at 2.84 seconds, with quick draw it's 2.34. Rate of fire is 489 rounds per minute, where if you equip rapid fire it goes up to 520 rounds per minute. Reload time takes 1.5 seconds, with the full animation taking 2.7. Hip fire with the Stingray is very difficult, given the flesh it rounds it's hard to judge enemy movement and with the widespread it can be really difficult to hit your target for free shots. Laser sight does help this but however you always need to aim in to get that perfect accuracy. Equipping a long barrel means that this is the closest you can be to get a medium range hit given that the distance in between the two soldiers right now counts as a short distance meaning you'll have full power on your gun. This also shows the closest you have to be to get a long distance kill, and the very long distance damage points are now non-existent. With the S6 Stingray, our class loadout will be aimed towards enhancing the weak points that the gun has to offer, and increasing likelihood of kills. Our first attachment is the Long Barrel. This will ensure that we have the highest amount of damage per flesh it round, and that our bullets are much quicker to hit our targets. Our second attachment is Grip. This will ensure that the second bullet follows the first one, maximising your potential to kill an enemy quickly. Our third attachment is Rapid Fire. Given that the least amount of shots you need to kill is free, this will help you out, giving you more chance of killing your target quickly. For the final attachment, we'll be equipping the Impact Blast Operator Mod. With this Operator Mod equipped, each body shot has an extra 24 damage and each headshot has an extra 26 damage. With this loadout, you are more than certain to only require two flesh it rounds to kill an enemy. Finally, we will be equipping Stim Shot. Stim Shot will ensure that if you take damage, you've got enough time to quickly heal and use that time you're healing to shoot down an opposing enemy. Finally, we will be rounding off our class loadout with Scavenger. Scavenger will ensure that you have more than enough flesh ammo to take out opposing enemies. And that's our class loadout. A fast shooting, highly accurate flesh it machine. Always remember to be accurate when using the Stingray. The more you aim in, the more focused your flesh it round shots are. Be aware that with moving enemies, you will have to judge their movement in order to get the kill. Finally, make sure you have a certain amount of distance between you and your enemy. With a long barrel attached, your flesh it rounds will be more than effective up to a certain distance. And that is the video guys, leave a like if you have enjoyed, thank you for tuning in, if you've made it this far you are amazing. If you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe, I'm planning on doing more gun based ones, I think I got the Vendetta sniper rifle so that one will be coming out shortly once I have time to use it. But if you want to check out my channel I do a lot of like sniper gameplay, knifing gameplay, a lot of highlights, also I have a clan channel XMK clan, we're currently doing a recruitment challenge so if you want to go and check that out then please make sure to do so down below. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon guys, stay epic.